So clays may exist within a matrix of soil particles, um, and it might look something like this, where you have large particle grains um, uh, dis uh, interspersed with, uh, with a range of uh, clay sheets. Now, if you take that material and you remold it, um, what you might be left with is parallel alignment of these clay sheets, so they all might start aligning with each other, in which case you might define um, within that remolded material preferential shear pathways um, or, or planes of weakness. So um, this remolded behavior uh, of clays is really quite important to understand, and we define it through something called sensitivity. So soils with a high sensitivity are really susceptible to uh, large changes in strength due to remolding. Um, so uh, most clays have a, a sensitivity of uh, one to four, and sensitivity is defined through this equation. So let's call it just S for sensitivity um, is equal to the um, the peak strength. of the undisturbed material divided by the strength of the remolded. So a larger sensitivity means that the uh, the peak strength is so much more than the remolded strength. So if you do a, a, a test on an undisturbed sample of clay and you get one strength value, that might not be the, the strength that might be apparent within the field if the soil has been remolded. So that's why it's important to understand. And most clays have a, a sensitivity of equal to, uh, well, between uh, one and four. So the um, undisturbed strength is uh, up to four times greater than the remolded strength. Um, sensitive clays might have a sensitivity between four and eight, and so that's sensitive. Now extra sensitive clays might have um, a uh, sensitivity of between 8 and 16. Now, in a very special case, we have something called quick clays or marine clays that have sensitivity of up to 100. That means the, um, the undisturbed uh, material is 100 times stronger than the disturbed material. Um, now, quick clays or marine clays form um, when a uh, clay is laid down in a marine environment or a, a solution of high ionic strength where the cations in the, in the solution and, uh, move into the clay and they create um, uh, extra strength within the material. Now if you take that, that sediment that's been laid down and you bring it to the surface and you subject it to weathering with rainwater, the rainwater starts to dissolve some of that those cations out of the, the material. So you, what you end, end up with is a, almost like a house of cods. So you have a, a, a clay where the, the, the strength of the material has been removed, the cations have been removed, and they're just waiting to, to collapse in some ways. So that's, um, you can see um, uh, videos of really dramatic uh, failures due to, to marine clays. And I've uh, attached a link to, to those on my, my website. Um, which has a link below. So take a look at those, and that's for really uh, highly sensitive clays.